to do on killing a tree it is by g patel it is a poem in the textbook beehive which is a grade 9 textbook introduction to the lesson the poet sensitizes the less um, reader and highlights the fact that trees are living things or living beings uh, he draws a comparison between trees and humans to convey that trees should not be cut down because destroying trees is just like killing a human being so he has akin or drawn a comparison between the trees and human beings both being living things and he has established that both are equally important in the way you cannot kill a human being in the same manner you cannot kill a tree uh, that is why instead of using the words chopping down the tree the poet has used the words killing a tree so he established Uh, a very strong comparison uh, metaphor rather to mention that killing a tree is killing a person a, a a a tree does not die merely by cutting down because it regrows from where it is cut it if it is got a if it is destroyed then it has has to be uprooted that means when you chop down a tree the stump of the tree remains that means the root remains and from where the new shoots grow the or the new branches grow out and the tree remains but in order to kill a tree you need to uproot it and that uprooting process is a very pro prolonged process and in this poem we are going to see that process of actually destroying or killing a tree the poem and the explanation this is the poem the very first stanza there are four such stanzas in the poem the first stanza it takes much to kill a tree and this a b c d in front of that is to um, identify the rhyme scheme we will just go through it and see whether there is a rhyme scheme or not it takes much to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves uh, we can see if we see the tree the first uh, rhyming word the tree if we give a tree e sound uh, uh, assign the letter a to it knife f at the end we assign a letter b and the new sound grown not used earlier that n sound is not used earlier in the end syllable of the last word so we give a new letter to it c art the the n sound we give a new letter to it feeding ing sound is not used earlier in the end syllable of any of the verses so we give we assign e to it we go on doing that for absorbing water hide leaves and we see that new letters are coming up that means none of the sound is repeated so it is a blank verse or it has no rhyme scheme at all now let us look at the meanings jab means to cut a uh, sudden blow or hit or to cut down leprous hide the word leprous is from the word leprosy please do not consider it um, um with the leopard or anything of that nature it is not leopard skin it is leprosy the skin it's a skin disease leprous hide is discolored a bark it is a don a comparison or a, it is a comparison has been established there is no so as in like so uh, leprous hide is a metaphor over here leprous is from the word leprosy and hide means skin the rhyme scheme is none of the uh, lines rhyme so it is a free verse or a blank verse a simple cut the explanation is that a simple cut does not destroy a tree a tree grows gradually it is uh, rooted in the soil and draws food from the mother earth as mentioned by the poet that it, it feeds on the crust of the earth a planet takes the nutrition from the soil to grow into a big tree it is as compared to the fetus the fetus means the unborn the human being the child which is in the womb of the mother that is fetus it is compared to the fetus which is in the womb of the mother and feeds from the mother's body the tree is firmly rooted in the soil it takes in sunlight water and air these are the essential requirements for the tree to grow 
and a strong tree to into a sturdy bark sturdy means very strong bark and with numerous or many many leaves let us proceed to the second stanza so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not do much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which is unchecked will expand again to form a size now in this it is mentioned that if the bark is if the stump is left the new branches will grow and the twigs will grow and the leaves will also sprout and regrow to its former size or the original size hack means cut roughly by striking heavy blows miniature means very small sized boughs means branches unchecked means not cut down expand means over here to grow former means to the previous size humans cut and chop the bark of the trees in many pieces but uh, that is not sufficient to destroy the tree the bleeding bark the over the term the bleeding bark is personified over here bleeding bark is personification and as it is the quality of a human being animal or a living being uh, bleed this part of the tree which gets cut down gives out sap just like a human being bleed gradually this would heal and uh, from the stump or the bark new branches will rebegin or grow again the next stanza is no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tight and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth what are we talking about we are talking about the root or the stump or the root which was hidden inside the earth uh, actually the stump is the outer remaining part of the tree which is uncut and down the there we will we'll find the roots the roots are actually mm, pulled uh, hidden from the earth for many many years mm -hmm. and in order to pull the stump out rope is tied and strong um, uh, for example in the olden times elephants used uh, were used to pull the stump out and now um, in today's world machinery is used to pull the stump out so now we are talking about the uh, the pra the roots being exposed and pulled out anchoring earth means the earth is used for ships trees to help securely the help the help of the roots in the earth that means over here the plants the trees are anchored in the way the ships are anchored in the sea over here the trees are, are anchored in the earth and the roots are the you anchoring the the anchor which is thrown in the sea or in the earth it is uh, snapped out uh, is uh, chopped and pulled out breaks suddenly and completely typically with a sharp cracking sound earth cave is actually the cava uh, the cavity of the earth where the tree was rooted or the space so that uh, for that the word earth cave is used uh, strength of the tree exposed that means the root which is considered as the strength of the tree that is exposed or brought out now it is in the open air roots are pulled out so it's white and wet uh, now these are actually referring to the soft absorbent damp roots and hidden for years the roots were underground and now the sun it was not exposed to the sun or open air the poet reiterates that in order to kill a tree it has to be uprooted the true roots uh, uh, the root uh, is to be pulled out not the roots are or the root uh, is to be pulled out with the sharp snap from the earth which supports it the roots of the tree hold the tree in the soil in the earth making a cavity for the roots to grow for which the poet uh, has used the word earth cave the most sensitive and the hidden part of the tree that is the roots are exposed the roots are white in color and are damp damp means wet the next stanza then the matter 
of scorching and choking in the sun and air browning and hardening twisting withering and then it is done this is the process of actually destroying it completely scorching and choking is the drying up of the tree after being expo uprooted and exposed in the sun the, of course now the roots will not be able to absorb water from the soil so it will dry up and this is the process of dry drying up once the tree has been uprooted then gradually it withers and dries up with the action of heat and wind uh, the trunk or will become brown twist and will harden finally the tree will die this way now the literary devices no rhyme scheme we have already discussed this so that is no rhyme scheme it's blank work words or free words enjambment is actually when the the uh, verse continues there's no comma at the end of the verse and the idea continues until we reach a punctuation at the end of the uh, verses or the stanza so that is how the sentence continues from one verse to the other in the entire stanza until there we see a full stop metaphors metaphor is an indirect comparison we have seen the examples of metaphor also leprous hide the uneven color of the surface of the trunk of the trees compared to the skin of a person suffering from leprosy instead of saying so as in like leprosy or it was directly said leprous hide that means the hide which was akin to leprosy so a metaphor example of metaphor was used bleeding bark the sap coming out of the tree which is cut as compared to the bleeding form of the wound is in the human's body that is also a metaphor and bleeding body is uh, bleeding bark is also a personification alliteration is the repetition of a consonant sound in two or more close, closely placed words bleeding bark b b sound consonant sound is repeated white and wet w sound w sound is repeated so that is how it is alliteration repetition is the word or a sentence is repeated to lay emphasis on it pulled out is repeated in the given stanza now coming to the summary of on killing a tree on killing a tree is a sensitive poem the poet persuades the reader not to destroy a tree and equates it with killing a human being he says that a planet takes sunlight water air and nutrients from the soil to gradually become a huge tree it develops a strong trunk and gets no, mm, numerous leaves merely cutting the tr trunk of the tree does not kill it when a tree is cut the sap flows out just like a wounded man bleeds uh, once the wound heals the new branches and tiny leaves grow from there which grows into trees in order to destroy a tree it has to be uprooted the roots which are white in color and are damp due to the moisture that they get from the soil are hidden in a pit in the earth these roots are in the most sensitive part of the tree as they bind the uh, it to the earth in order to kill the tree these roots have to be detached from the soil once the roots are detached the tree starts dying it withers dries up with the action of heat and wind and twists hardens and finally dies now the question answers of on killing a tree can a simple jab of the knife kill a tree why or why not no a simple um, jab of the knife cannot kill a tree the place from where the tree is cut will give sap and once the wood he wound heals new branches and leaves will grow from it which will develop into trees how has the tree grown to its full size list the words suggestive um, of the of its life an activity the tree has grown by consuming nutrients from the earth absorbing sunlight air and water words suggestive of its life and activity are consuming the earth rising out of it uh, feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air and water what is the meaning of bleeding bark what makes it bleed bleeding bark refers to the sap which flows out of the tree's bark where it is cut the tree bleeds when it is cut with a knife the poet says no in the beginning of the third stanza what does he mean by this no means that uh, the tree will not die by cutting or chopping the trunk what is the meaning of anchoring earth and earth cave anchoring earth means that the earth supports the tree firmly earth cave refers to the pit in the earth where the roots of the tree bind it firmly to the earth what does he mean by the strength of the tree exposed the strength of the tree exposed 
means that the being uprooted the most sensitive and the important part of the tree is that is the roots will no longer remain hidden in the earth what finally kills the tree the tree dies when it is uprooted when it is detached from the earth it withers hardens twists and finally dies that brings us to the end of this um, the exercise uh, thank you very much for your kind attention